Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I didn't expect to be making a video this morning, but the situation regarding thunderstorms has uptrended quite a significant amount. So I thought I'd just give you an update about what's going on, what to expect for today. And I'll start off by looking at the new convective outlook for today. Convective basically just means thunderstorms, if you're wondering. Um, but as you can see, uh, a lot of change from yesterday in particular. Uh, sorry, particularly, we've got this uh, moderate risk area, which is kind of starting through kind of the Welsh border regions, parts of the Midlands, uh, extending through northwest England, uh, up towards parts of southern Scotland, and then kind of a separate area to that then goes from parts of eastern England, East Anglia, uh, up towards kind of the same regions that I just mentioned. Uh, and then you can also see we have an enhanced risk going all the way through parts of uh, Scotland, down to parts of Wales, and then kind of curving around. Uh, down to parts of uh, southeast and eastern England. So a really quite large area is at risk for some significant storms today. And as you can see here, we've got the severe outline on this risk, which means some of these storms have the potential to be severe. That means there could be some large hail, some gusty winds, uh, some flash flooding in the most intense cells. And towards parts of eastern England during the later evening, there is the very small risk, but still present risk of an isolated weak tornado. But you can read the full discussion, which I put quite a lot of um, time into this morning, quite a lot of quite a long one there on my website, which I'll put in the link below. But if we start off by looking at the current observations, which is the most important thing, uh, you can see it's already looking pretty active. Uh, we have elevated storms uh, now developing as of 11:30 into parts of Scotland. Uh, more showers and storms, but possibly some lightning as those move to the uh, kind of north, yeah, to the north during the morning. And then you can see the radar image is just updated there. We've got also fairly active elevated storms now moving uh, towards parts of northeast England, like Newcastle, that kind of area. And then another cluster of storms uh, across parts of more southern slash eastern England. Uh, so that's kind of the current update. You can see those are moving generally north. Uh, they're likely to kind of weaken a little bit, which I talk about in my discussion here. Those will be probably weakening slightly in the next few hours. But still, you've got some lightning activity going on in southern Scotland uh, there and then kind of parts of eastern England. And then also, I also mentioned this in my discussion if you want to read more in detail about that. We do have a line of elevated storms now starting to move into parts of southeast England and the London area. Perhaps some hints of initiating something more kind of ahead of that line. Potentially some thunderstorms going to be developing in this area in the next few hours. Uh, and maybe some nice structure, a shelf cloud possible along here. But you can see fairly active lightning wise. I wouldn't be surprised if the London area saw some pretty decent storms in the next hour or so, as well as parts of kind of southern and southeastern England. So that's the um, that's the update from the kind of current perspective. But then looking towards the afternoon, this is the Met Office surface pressure chart, and you can see we've got a cold front and a big black line, which means a surface trough. Um, moving into most of England and into Scotland as well during the afternoon, that's 12 o'clock there, and that'll be moving further east during, during the day. And those two things are going to be a further focus for thunderstorm development. So we'll look at uh, area, the kind of more certain area at the moment, and that is behind this zone here. Let's see if I can turn the satellite on. Um, I'm not sure if the satellite is working. Uh, I'll just do that you can see but behind because I think the satellite is a bit outdated I'll just turn it off but you can see we've got this rain band here which is currently uh, moving kind of in that direction out of the Welsh border region and parts of the West Midlands at the moment and what that is allowing is sunny spells and clear skies to develop in this region which is raising the temperature and it's allowing more instability to develop during the next few hours over this region and so what we're expecting to happen is the combination of that instability, and if I show you something here on the GFS, you might be able to see what I'm talking about. The combination of that instability and the kind of hint of a subtle shortwave trough, which is kind of a small scale disturbance uh, aloft, you can see hints of some sort of trough here moving through parts of kind of uh, Wales and into northwest England during the afternoon. And uh, this is six o'clock, so the early evening. What I'm expecting to happen is some pretty active thunderstorms to develop in this zone, uh, as you can see here in that kind of red, those orange and red areas during the afternoon. And what that might look like is if I show you the row model, you can see 
something could be something like that or if I show you a later version you can see something like that some pretty intense thunderstorms possible across parts of the West Midlands uh, but as I always say it's not good to look at just one model so if we take a look at the UKV let's see if that updated at all um, no still the 6C but you can see or 6Z uh, if people get annoyed at that but you can see this is I think a fairly accurate depiction of what could occur and that is like I said thunderstorms start to develop across parts of West Midlands into Northwest England during the early afternoon and then those move kind of north becoming fairly active you can see clusters of storms there uh, as you can see through the afternoon and potentially if I show you the uh, wind shear um, chart here uh, where is there we go you can see here that the wind shear towards the late um, kind of early, late afternoon to early evening is fairly strong in this area you can see those pink and blue colors there and the wind shear is the difference in wind between certain layers of the atmosphere and pretty much when you've got these kind of 40 knot pink kind of colors that means there is uh, strong wind shear and the updrafts and the downdrafts of the storms are going to get separated which allows them to last longer and potentially organize into multi cells and even a kind of rare storm called a supercell which is a rotating storm and supercells typically contain more severe weather so large hail strong wind gusts uh, so that's definitely a risk uh, towards uh, the early late afternoon and early evening across parts of uh, West Midlands and Northwest England with those storms the shortwave coming together with that strong instability which I actually show you here um, like I always talk about the instability but you can see there those really strong kind of yellow and orange colors moving into parts of the West Midlands uh, there during the kind of late evening early afternoon sorry early af late afternoon early evening and then those clusters during the evening are likely to move into parts of Scotland as you can see there uh, potentially bring some flash flooding risk and a hail risk so that's kind of the more certain zone at the moment there is a more conditional risk but potentially more significant risk during the afternoon further east because you can see uh, we've got this kind of rain band moving into parts of uh, southern southern and southeastern England right now but it's expected we're not too sure but it's expected that it's not going to properly make its way into more eastern England it's kind of gonna it's kind of not get too far which means that this area in particular kind of around here is likely to stay fairly sunny fairly warm through the afternoon and that means we're likely to see fairly significant instability developing uh, during the afternoon across parts of eastern and southeastern England as you can see here this is seven o'clock and you can see widely we've got those yellow and orange colors on the Cape chart showing a lot of juice lots of energy for those storms during the afternoon and on top of that we do have some hint of maybe some convergence zones sea breezes outflow boundaries potentially in this region helping to initiate a couple of thunderstorms uh, through the afternoon as you can see the UKV shows kind of something there through the afternoon and evening and if I show you the uh, in environment that we're in you can see let me show you the uh, European model here you can see the instability um, remains there look at those kind of blue colors on the map across eastern England and if I take a sounding you can see that the wind shear is also pretty strong there you've got around kind of 40 knots of cloud layer shear and 30 knots of effective shear so that could possibly be enough for supercells or organized thunderstorms again bringing the risk of some uh, hail so this shows pretty nicely what could happen you might have a band of storms during the early evening into parts of eastern England uh, as you can see there uh, and then kind of those storms start to die out towards the evening uh, and that kind of more eastern risk is the reason we've got that uh, moderate zone and that enhanced zone down here slightly more conditional because there are some capping issues possibly uh, and some of the models are showing kind of not as many storms as further west but if storms do develop in this region then they could be pretty intense because we've got a lot of instability and we've got some strong wind shear that's pretty much it guys taking one final look at the radar you can see how those storms are starting to kind of more rapidly develop now and possibly something initiating uh, into west london right now but if you like storms i hope you get a good lightning show lots of heavy rain today um, but otherwise thank you so much for watching and have a great day guys bye